Good day everyone, Rommel here from Dell Technologies. Today, I'll be demonstrating how easy it is to use Recovery Point to protect your VMs. I'll be creating a bookmark and I'll be doing a test cut. Hope you like it. The first thing that I will do is to log into my environment. Okay, you will see here that I have four data centers, New York, Paris, Sydney, and Tokyo. Under my New York data center, I have a VM called Linux underscore app. If you go to the summary page, and if I scroll down, um, I'll go to the recovery point section. There you go. You'll see that this VM is protected under Recover Point for VMs. Now, if I go to Linux Web, and if I scroll down again to the Recover Point section, you see that Linux underscore Web is unprotected. Now I'll show how easy it is to protect a VM. So you go to Configure, then you go to the Recover Point for VM section. You can press this button, protect this VM. When you press this, it will go through the wizard of protecting a VM. Another way of doing it is to do a right click of your VM. Go to the recover point and press protect. That's how easy it is. And it will go through the same window again. It will go through the wizard. In this page, I will create a new consistency group. I will call it web space CG. Then I'll select the production VRPA cluster. Now this is my production copy. I'll change the name to web underscore prod. Then I will just let it select across the registered data stores in my environment. This is where we, we will create a copy of your production environment. First, create a remote copy that will be stored or housed in my Paris environment. I will name it web underscore remote. Then I'll press next. This is where you will configure your additional settings for your copy. Now again, I'll select from available data stores. And this is where you will configure if, if you want it synchronous or asynchronous. In this test, because it's remote, I will configure it as async. For this page, I will let it create the VM automatically under my Paris data center. Here is where you select the data store where you want that VM to be created. And then this is where you define your failover networks. That's it. You are ready to protect. But before I do so, I will add another copy. Remember, I did create a remote copy of my production environment. What I will do next is I will create a local copy in my New York data center. And I will name it web underscore local then I'll just have to go through the same process again but in this case I will make it synchronous of course now resources will be under my New York data center I'll have to select the data store where it will be stored the failover networks and that's it you're done This is the summary page of your configuration. You have a production environment. You have a remote copy, which I created. And then you'll see a local copy, which I created as well. You can review your configuration and edit it if you want it. 
If you notice, I clicked on start replicating this consistency group when I click on protect. That would mean as soon as I click on protect, it will start initialize. You will see here that it already started the task of replicating my production VM. You will also see here that the state is still unknown because it's still initializing the replication. Now, if I go to the recovery point for VMs plugin, there you go. So here is the dashboard. So in this environment, I'm protecting three VVMs, including Linux underscore web. I'll go to the protection tab, and I'll go to the consistency group. Here, I will see my web CGG consistency group. There you go. Now, if you see here, I have those three VMs created, the prod, the local, and the remote copy. If I click on the consistency group, it will show me the relationships of all these three VMs, the production, the remote copy, and the, the local copy. I'll just have to close the other window so that it will be easier for you to see it. You see here, now it's initializing. My prod is replicating to web underscore remote at Paris. And it's also replicating to web underscore local at New York. You will just have to wait before everything gets active. In this case, it's still initializing. Now it's active and synchronized. In here, it's just showing active because my configuration is async. Now, if I go back to my data center and my Linux underscore web VM, and I go back to configure and the recover point for VM section, you'll see the relationship as well. And it's now protected. If I go to the summary page and go down again, scroll down to the recover point section, you'll see the status that it's protected already. Now, that's how easy it is to configure a protection of a VM using recover point. I'll go back to configure, then recover point for VMs. And then what I'll do next is to create a bookmark. This is how, how easy it is to create a bookmark. I'll put a name and I'll call it test bookmark. Because this is just a test, I'll make it crash consistent. Then I'll press OK. That's it. I've already created a bookmark at that very same moment. Now, there, there are a lot of things that you can do on how to recover from a bookmark or from your protection. You can do a test copy, which is what we will do later. Um, the next one is you can also do a test and recover production. The last but not the least is when you're doing a failover and failback scenario. Now, let's do a test copy. In here, you can, you can just select copy, um, whether you want it from the local copy or from the remote copy. I choose local, and then I'll press next. You can select an image, whether it's the latest image, but in, in this case, I want to show you how to get it from the bookmark that we just created. So we will select from a list. Because this is sync, you'll see here that it's doing all this production sync time. Um, and this is the test bookmark that we just created a few moments ago. And then I'll press next. In here, I'll just select to create an isolated network for its consistency group per ESX. And then I'll just press next. And then I'll basically enable access to this copy image. In here, you'll see that it's now progressing to give access to the image. Um, still on percent. So on the left side, you'll see that still Linux underscore core web. But after it's finished, you'll see another, another copy, which is Linux underscore web dot copy. Now this is our test copy. Now you can stop the testing using the same window, but for my case, I'll just press on hide. Then let's go to the copy, the Linux underscore web copy. 
I'll try to power it on. It's already powered on. So I'll just um, open a new window to show you this. Here it is. Now it's booting up. Um, I won't finish the boot um, Basically, it's just, just to show you that here is our um, copy wherein you can use simultaneously together with the production copy. Now, if, if I go back to the recover point for VM plugin, here the dashboard again, and if I go to the recover activities, this is our copy from our web consistency group, and the source is web underscore local. Here we are testing a copy. Now, if you want to stop the testing, you can just press on X action and then stop testing. As simple as that. Next, you can just confirm. Um, in my testing, there, there's really no application accessing my, my copy, so I'll just press OK. Now, it will take some time um, for the system to finish this stop testing, but after it finished, you'll see that the Linux underscore web that copy is now deleted as well. Again, thank you very much. This is just a short clip to demonstrate how easy it is to use the recovery point to protect your VMs, to create a bookmark, and to do a test copy. Thank you.